Welcome back. Uh, my first couple of videos that I made explaining how the aperture priority mode and the manual mode worked went over so well. I thought that I would do a few more. Coming up, I'm, I've got a, a video that I will be making on how to do some light, some night shots. But anyways, today, this video is going to be better understanding the ISO which is the light sensitivity and of course you see right here ISO 200 is where I shoot at in daylight or outdoors indoors I shoot at 800 ISO and, and, and like I had stated before I do not really play with it too much it works well and that's what I've stuck with and I've already focused in on an area that I will be doing some sample shots showing you how they work and of course you'll be seeing these those in the video also and of course we have my D3000 Nikon with the attached uh, 55 200 millimeter lens once again this is, has to be the crappiest lens that I've ever had and used but anyway, the ISO is the camera's sensitivity to light. And in order to change the ISO, and either in the aperture priority mode or in the manual mode, either way, as you will see this button right here, uh, you go ahead and press this button and it brings you up into your menu screen and you use this navigational key right here oops it went off and do that again and you use this navigational key to scroll up hit the ok then you see a menu that says ISO sensitivity and 100, 200, 400, 800, 1600 and high which that's going to be like an equivalent of 4000 ISO or something like that uh, it's pretty high. I've tried it and doesn't do a real good job. But anyways, uh, if you have a lot of bright light, you might want to select an ISO of 100 or just general outdoor shooting. Uh, the camera responds really well to 200 ISO. Or in mid mid light you know fair light decent light you can use 400 I think I've shot a couple of pictures in 400 ISO before and of course indoor and night shots most of my night shots are even done at 800 ISO and 1600 which in really bad situations, bad lighting, I've had to use it. But don't really like to on kind of the noise and in the high mode, I think I've shot two pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the difference in the, in the various shots between 100 and, and, and the high mode. To show you the difference in the light sensitivity so I'm going to go ahead and toggle to 100 ISO and I'm going to go ahead and clear out of that like I said I've already focused in on an area now you see these trees and this path down the driveway here is what I've already focused on and I'm in the aperture priority mode so it will choose its shutter speed for me and of course I'm at f5 I usually shoot at f4 when possible And of course, I've had to change the lens, the zoom, so I'll have to go ahead and relock my focus again. And I've relocked my focus. So at ISO 100 at f4, it has chosen a 120th of a second shutter speed. And of course, you see its preview right there. And I'll go ahead and and. Uh, post these along with the video also and we're going to step up to 200 ISO notice that the shutter speed is picked up because the camera is now more sensitive to light 
the shutter can actually work at a faster speed. And of course you've gotten pretty much the same picture, the same image, the only difference is the camera was able to achieve it faster because it was more sensitive, it had a higher sensitivity to light, allowing the shutter to operate faster. So we're going to go ahead and step it up another notch to 400. And of course you see there's not really too much of a change in the pictures. You might see maybe some in the details themselves. But not a lot. And of course now we are at 800. And of course you can really get in close and see if there's not really too much of a, of a detail loss. And we're going to go up another notch. I'm at 1600. And notice that we went from 1 20th of a second on a shutter speed to 1 320th of a second. Let me bring the menu back up, okay. And once again, but you notice, and it, it's getting enough that I can tell a difference that details are being lost here, and there is a significant amount of uh, noise being picked up even you know on a closer inspection but I'll go ahead and clear out of that and one more I'll go all the way up to high and this is not really even recommended for shooting at all even though I have one six fortieth of a second on the shutter speed and, and I can obviously tell there's a lot of gray in the picture which means that there is definitely a lot of detail being lost and a lot of noise being being picked up. So I'm going to go ahead and thumb back down to 200. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, the ISO is the camera's sensitivity to light. Much like back in the older days when you used to buy film, you used to buy film in, in speed ratings. You used to buy like 100 speed film, 200 speed film, you know, 400 speed film. And that does, and that's pretty much the same thing as this, only you select the camera speed or the ISO where you don't have to you know get different kinds of film and such but anyways I hope that I have further explained the ISO well and hopefully that I've made it easier to understand and until then thanks for watching